live from the Mandalay Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's The Cube at IBM Insight 2014. Here are your hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are live in Las Vegas for IBM Insight. This is theCUBE, inside the social lounge for IBM's Insight Go, their social digital experience. First time this year they have influencers. Of course, theCUBE is making a, a special presentation here. It's our, th our third event now. Dave Vellante, I've been doing information on demand. I'm John Furrier, the co-founder of Silicon Angle. I'm joined by co-host Dave Vellante uh, with Wikibon.org, also co-founder of Silicon Angle Media. Our next guest is Hel Hel Helene Leon, distinguished engineer, CTO of Big Data Analytics, Data Governance, Software on System Z for Europe. Awesome that's title, I don't think we can get that in the lower <laughs> third, but uh, that's awesome, welcome to theCUBE. <laughs> welcome. So, um, mainframe is never going away, that's supposed to be dead years ago, so mainframe, client server, PCs, now we have social, connected mobile, internet of things, and everything in between, all tethered together. How do you make sense of this? Within IBM, that's, that's, all that stuff still exists, how are you guys pulling that all together? Yes. What is incredible with mainframe, it, it, it does support the uh, business of uh, the customer since 50 years this year, and we are the 50th anniversary. Happy anniversary. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> and, and what happened over 50 years is that we, had, we, we adapt ourselves in, to the new technology while protecting customer investment. And the world, you know, the value prop of the mainframe has been protecting the uh, customer investment since day one. That, that, that was the value prop, and, and, and we succeed with that. We succeed with, you, you mentioned client server, uh, we, we had a service-oriented architecture, now we have mobile, we have analytics, and all those new technology are applied to mainframe business, mainframe application and mainframe data. We are at the Insight Conference where we talk a lot about modern uh, new data, unstructured data, but the, the first data that customer wants to analyze today is their transactional data, which is hosted for a lot of customer in, in existing mainframe data. So. We were um, at Big Data NYC last week uh, uh, with, with our event and also Strata Conference Hadoop World, and you know, SyncSource is a company out there that's doing very, very well with mainframe. The mainframes are still out there. A lot of the largest banks, some of the, the biggest powerhouses still out there are the mainframe. So what, I, what is the evolution? What's next? I mean, obviously the power's there. You're seeing some distributed computing going to a whole other level. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the update? I mean, how relevant are they? Are they extended their life? It seems to be every decade, the year of the mainframe going away never goes away. There's no. always a life, life extension, the life expectancy of a mainframe just doesn't seem to stop. So, customers are taking benefit of their existing application for sure, and they build new one. What, what, what has been uh, crucial for the, for the uh, company is in a crisis time anyway, they have to rely on what is working. You know, uh, you cannot uh, remove, uh, you cannot get rid of all your applications that are doing the business, but you need to improve them. So for many years, IBM positioned, and, and the analyst as well, positioned the mainframe as a backend. So all the modern stuff were built on top of the mainframe, but the mainframe was not really modernized. Only access to the mainframe were modernized. Now we are at a, a position where we want to modernize um, application in order to take benefit of analytic services, for example, or modernize the data access to be more standard. And it's exactly what, what we do. You know, during my last 20 years, I, I'm an IMS evangelist, so my art is IMS, so, and that's great for me. And I see customer, I'm working all the time with customer that try to improve their, their, their business, the, what is done by IMS application. And they realize, that thanks to the mobile, for example, that the transaction number is growing, so that's IMS as a backend. But what is important, they realize as well that we can change application in order to make push notification, yeah, for yeah. example, in order to use those new type of information that we have, like geolocalization and things like that. So purpose built becomes a big part of the mainframe's role. It's purpose built and has a lot of power still. 
What do you mean by purpose-based? Well, well, as you get more modernization, batch analytics, for instance, could be great on the mainframe. Oh, yeah. So, so is that, you're seeing kind of use cases where certain uh, use cases really shine with the mainframe in analytics? Uh, w w when it's a question of real time, it has to run on the mainframe. You know, the mainframe is really the container of the transaction business <laughs> for banks, for insurance, for industry. And what we want to do, like Gartner is, is, is sponsoring, is a hybrid transaction and analytics processing, so the ITAP. And what, what it means is, is that we want to take some analytics services and add them next to the transaction. And it's exactly what I'm working with in order to do maybe some better fraud detection at the time of the customer is connected, not two minutes later, not one hour later on, on obsolete data, just now. When the customer is engaged with us, uh, with us, with the machine, let's do something good. Okay. Next, next best action. So bringing the analytics and the transactional data together. Exactly. And making decisions in near real time bef yeah. before the fraud occurs or maybe before the customer leaves. Or exactly. Uh, so what's the software layer that, that is enabling you, you to do that? What has been uh, done uh, by IBM middleware is that, for example, we can implement directly SPSS scoring algorithm inside of the mainframe. So the scoring model are created outside the mainframe by analysts, by, by mathematician. And then we, we take this uh, algorithm, we deploy it in the mainframe, and then application can just call this, mod this model to get instant scoring for about risk, your for customer. Example. For risk, okay. for fraud, for risk, for anything. So it's, it's again, if it's real time, it has to be very quick, and that's the best value of the mainframe, is to be very efficient. So, scoring is very important. Decision management with rules, you know, business rules, software, are, are able to be implemented in collocation, you know, next to the transaction, next to the IMS transaction, ne next to the Kix transaction. And that's great, because it's very efficient. We also have solution to accelerate all type of queries. So, queries coming from the distributed world, com Queries coming from Watson Analytics, for example, can be dir directed to mainframe data and get the, the information very quickly. So the mainframe is not an isolated island. It's a hidden. Uh, in hidden? It's hidden. Yeah. Everybody here, they don't know what is a mainframe, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because it's, 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 it's so, so uh, uh, invisible. In, in the business process, you know, nobody has an mm. end-to-end -end view of the complete business process. You know, they build very nice apps, you know, system of engagement, modern, innovative, but they don't know that the data has been created on the mainframe. Mm. It has been copied and copied and copied and finally they use it. That's, awesome. that's, that's, that's not efficient. So what I promote is the fact that we can have a very nice reporting tool like Watson Analytics to go directly to the source of the data. All right, well that's awesome. Mainframes are still alive. Thanks for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it, to sharing that insight. And you know, we always say, you know, you know, there's always that, that role for the mainframe. I love that container for analytics for real time yeah. and the transactions. Great stuff, Lee, Leon inside theCUBE, thanks for joining us. We'll be right back, live here in Las Vegas, right after this short break. This is theCUBE, we're extracting that signal from the noise and sharing it with you here inside the social lounge as part of InsightGo, digital transformation here at IBM Insight. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>